What is good everybody, Michael LaRocco here. Um, today I want to kind of talk about personal branding and the five tips to starting your personal brand that I've kind of picked up from a couple of the gurus that I train from and everything like that. And number one is your mission and your why. Which they're a little different, but pretty much they're the same same exact thing. Um, from like for my why, my why is to be able to kind of take recovering addicts off the streets or off the halfway house or wherever wherever they're hanging out and bring them into my company so that way I can cultivate a winning mindset and kind of get them away from all the negativity and the people that are just going to keep bringing them down. And another one of my whys and my mission is to be able to give 10% of my company revenue to women and children that have been abused by their significant other, father, stepfather, boyfriend, any really any male figure in their life just to kind of get them in a financial situation so they can actually get the fuck out. Um, and number two is define your USP. USP is your unique selling proposition. Why do people buy from you? If you keep competing on price, then there's only one way to go, and that's to zero. Nobody's really going to win. Like Russell Brunson says, if you can't be the cheapest, then you have to be the most expensive. And having a great USP is like, look at, um, look at Apple. Apple's unique selling proposition when they came out with the iPod was... A thousand songs in your pocket not okay we have this much memory or this much memory or we're this cheap it's kind of pretty much like the benefit that they're gonna have and number two or number three is be consistent this means show up consistently post consistently if somebody needs your help be there if somebody doesn't need, I mean, well, I guess if they don't need your help, you don't have to be there, but just pretty much just, just be consistent. Um, post on a regular basis, answer questions on a regular basis, and really just be there. And number four is balance. This can be like if you are about business and you want to have your personal life and everything into it, have it be balanced. Don't be 80% business and 20% personal just because it kind of throws people off and people, they, they want to follow somebody that they can relate to. And a lot of people, they can relate to somebody that is business and family or just, there might be somebody that relates to business. There might be people that relates to family, but it's not really fair to the people that um, relate to family. If you're always talking about business or it's not fair, if there's people that relate to business and you're always talking about family. And number five is, Experiment and test your content. And with experimenting and testing your content, you really want to understand like what's working and what isn't. What is your target audience really, what, what's captivating your target audience and pulling them in. When you experiment, I mean, you can throw a post up and have it up for a half an hour. And if it's not there, you can either delete it or you can hide it from your timeline. And that's kind, of, that's kind of what experimenting and testing your content is. If you have a post that you see is doing extremely well, take a screenshot of it and put it into a little swipe file so that way you can kind of repurpose it later. And yeah, those are my five tips to starting a personal brand. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments or just shoot me a message and let me know.